Hey guys, 65 Ford here. Um, so some people asked to see what's inside a CV axle. What are they made of? So let it, I'll show you. So here we have a uh, standard CV axle. I've kind of pre-disassembled it to make it quicker for you. And cleaned out some of the grease because there's a ton of grease. Um, this boot goes right here. But the rest of this is pretty much how it is. There's just some clamps that, you know, hold on the boots. Um, this is the uh, where your wheel goes. This side connects to the transmission. Okay. We'll start this side. It's easier. Um, on this particular one, there's just a retaining ring right here that just retains it. So this snaps off, this comes off, and you just got a housing here. And then there's a little C-clip that was down here. We'll take this off, take off this little retainer, and we'll just take off this little rubber protective boot. Okay? And all you have here is a set of splines, essentially. And this just splines onto here. And these are just rollerball bearings in there. And this just sits in here and it slides and what it allows it to do on this side is to give it a little bit of an angle but more or less allows it to travel in and out because as the wheel goes up and down as it goes down this drive shaft has to lengthen a little bit and as it goes the wheel comes up and is center it's a little bit shorter so this is constantly moving in and out just a little bit and it also operates at a slight angle This is the uh, constant velocity joint, the, the CV joint right here. And what this allows is an extreme angle of operation, um, up to about 50, 52 degrees of operation, which is much more than like a standard U-joint can, op can operate at under load. A standard U-joint can only operate at, you know, 7 degrees or so before it starts binding. Where this, you know, because you need to be able to steer and pull your car through those corners as well. Um, and what this consists of is there's just a snap ring um, here, and that just keeps it from going on too far. But on this particular one, um, there was just another compression ring right here that just takes some force. You just actually have to hit it off. And there's your shaft. That's it. And here comes the fun part. So you got all this. This is where your axle nut goes on to. This is actually drives your front wheel hub. Um, this is just a seal surface to keep your bearings from getting dirty. But you have all this pivoting mass with six balls. Let's rotate that out of there. that one out and now we should be able to actually lift the whole assembly out there it goes so that's it so this piece rides in these housing this cage just kind of holds the balls in place and rotates and allows extreme operation with con without losing your velocity without losing that's why it's called a constant velocity, but this piece comes out, you got your six ball bearings, and this piece actually falls into these, you know, these grooves on the side, and allows it to step out. And there you go. This right here is just nothing but nothing, just machine grooves. And it's hard to tell, but there's actually pitting right there on each side. On each forward leading edge and that's why this CB joint was not making noise but getting a little you could feel it a little bit because there's a little rough edge where it normally would rotate but as you started to turn it would rotate out of this little you know instead of being smooth this way there's a little bit of a dip this way and it would rotate into that and cause a little bit of vibration put that back in um, you can install a couple balls, I think two balls, and you can drop that back down in, and then go from there, get it to the position, and then you can weasel the, slide those other balls back in, but that's a CV axle. One strange thing though, maybe somebody out there knows why, I don't know, but um, I guess they're just different degrees. This is the outboard side, the side that connects to your wheel over here with the CV axle. It has a lot thinner 
black grease where the grease over here in this side is actually like a like a reddish purple well purple no red so just don't know why they use different greases you would think that you know one grease would be good for both joints but apparently not so if you know that leave a comment let me know why so bring you guys back for a second I was taking apart the other one just wanted to show you guys a um, a failure so this side every once in a while the vehicle would um, clunk like a little bit of a clunk and I thought it was coming from the passenger side and sure enough took this apart took this off and just like on a U joint that just has these little needle bearings it ate up the needle bearings they are nowhere nowhere to be found so this has just kind of been slopping around on there a little bit of quite a while so that's my clunk 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 so the inside of there is probably pretty toasted but it's just amazing that it's completely minced up and there's not a single needle bearing in there that's it hey guys there you go power to the cv axles hey if you haven't already got any questions about this leave a comment below um and thumbs up thumbs down thanks guys 65.4 see you soon bye